Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Arnaldo and this is Articulture. Today I will be speaking to you about jungle cactus. I have many in my collection and I love them so much. I love epiphytic plants. Um, these epiphytic plants are native to Central and South America. Um, I especially wanted to take advantage of today and showcase my epiphyllum that I have outside. That epi is the oxypetulum. It is growing incredible because it is now spring 2022 and the growth is just uh, off the charts. And you will see because I will be showing you her today. And actually, um, she's a really easy plant to propagate and I actually have a couple of examples for you here. This one here in the front is a larger one and if you can see all the growth and all the new stems that are coming out so it's one that you have and then you can continue to propagate her and expand and put her, put her in different parts of your yard because that's what I have done and actually the one that I have growing outside is from three different plants that I put together and made that really beautiful large specimen that I have outside she's absolutely gorgeous and here's another little one that I have so in propagating in this case for soil propagation what you do is you would take one of the stems sorry you would take one of the large stems like that which is what i did here and then you cut you cut the stem in pieces and you put her in the soil and after a few weeks she will grow she will start growing new stems off of the sides so the new shoots come off of the sides of the plant and then she will just continue to grow and she'll just get bigger and bigger and they grow super fast and super easy and really easy to propagate just put it in moist soil and don't water too often so just remember that when you cut the stem remember to the part that faces down the part that's going downward into the plant just cut and make sure that you cut and put them downward again because if you were to flip it it wouldn't grow and it would die. So it would like start rotting on you. So yeah, super easy to propagate, such an amazing plant. And um, the blooms are really beautiful as well. They're white and she is a night blooming plant. So it's nocturnal blooming. She blooms at night, but, uh, the, and the blooms only last for about a day, but in the morning, you can come out in the morning and be able to really appreciate how beautiful the blooms actually are. They're really delicate, uh, white, and um, actually I have, speaking of white, white flowers, I have these um, Narcissus paper whites that just grow wild, and yesterday I was about to cut the grass, and I saw a whole bunch of them, and they're just so beautiful, and I didn't want to just run them over with the lawnmower, and look at how gorgeous they are. I wanted to go ahead and include them today in today's display because they're just so pretty, so delicate. They're just so lovely. And yeah, I wanted to at least be able to enjoy them and not lose them in cutting the grass. So yeah. Um, so I have some other examples for you today of my epiphyllums. Um, this beauty right here is the epiphyllum elliptica and um, also the same thing they grow really easily but i wanted to show you guys how cool the stems are and how they grow out what's really interesting about the ribsalis and that happens to most of them is that they have these stems that grow up and they're tall and then they start branching out and continue to branch out and then eventually start draping over and cascading and creating just such a beautiful plant and because it continues to grow you kind of keep getting that effect and it just gets more and more and more beautiful so also i wanted to go ahead and include my my schlumbergera which is the little christmas cactus that i have here and unfortunately at the moment she's not in bloom but this one blooms also a lot and they're these gorgeous white flowers she does have a lot of new growth coming in there's a lot of new growth coming in but also a really pretty plant eventually she will also kind of cascade but this one also grows more more in like a bushy more of a bushy effect 
And then this one right here is the Curly Orchid Cactus, which is just so cool and the way that it curls and the stems are like really firm so they stay they stay upright like that and some curl downwards. It's just such a pretty plant. Um, the same thing, it's really easy care. Um, they don't require a lot of water because of the way that they grow, being epiphytic, they don't really require a lot of water, but they're succulents and they uh, retain the water. So um, only when the soil is dry, only when they really need, need it is when you should water them. So then here I have this, which I'm pretty sure is a Ripsalis, but it is one that I wanted to include, but I actually don't know what the name is but I find her to be just so beautiful she actually looks a little more like a cactus because she has these little aerials and they have these little but they're really soft these little um, little prickly things um, she's so pretty uh, if anybody knows please uh, let me know in the comments and um, I actually have another Ripsalis which I'm not sure what she is and I don't know if this ever happens to you guys, but sometimes I go plant shopping and I see them. Look how pretty she is. And in the same thing, she shoots out these stems that eventually start draping down. And then look, she fills in through the top and through the bottom, just like so beautiful. Yeah, so sometimes I go shopping, plant shopping, and I'll see a plant and I'll fall in love with it, but they don't have a tag on it and they don't know the names but uh, I still have to get it. So again, that's another one that if somebody knows, uh, I'd appreciate knowing the name and if you could leave it in the comments, I would really appreciate it. So guys, I wanted to go ahead and get the flowers in the morning for you so you could see. So remember she is night blooming and the flowers look even prettier at night, but of course they're hard to film but she did have a few blooms last night and it's early morning so you can still appreciate them. So beautiful. So look at the coloration here. Look at this mix. Look at this reddish purple stems that are growing in here. Completely a different color, so pretty. I'm pretty sure that's actually a different cultivar that is mixed in with the plant. It's not actually the same one, but what a beautiful touch to have that contrast in color. See, here we have another bloom. And then the blooms from the back. There's another one here coming. Another one growing right here. It actually blooms a lot. So like every few days, there'll be more blooms. It's springtime, so of course, this is the season when she blooms a lot. But I actually get blooms throughout the year because of the weather and the conditions that I live in, living here in Florida. She has really become the showstopper of the garden. She is so beautiful. I wanna show you the incredible amount of growth. If you look at the stems, look how she's growing. She's growing really, really, really fast. I never thought she would grow this fast and this much and this beautiful. She's incredible with these. Look at how the branches are just coming out of the branches and the size of them. Look at the size of this one. They're just so big and it's coming out from the stem there. And look at how many. Look at how many. Look at in the back. And they're coming from the bottom. How big they are. Look at the size of these. They're so beautiful. I'm so happy with her. I'm so proud to have her. She's just incredible. What an amazing specimen. And she just keeps growing. So she's gonna grow more and more and more. I'm gonna to have to do updates to show you guys the incredible amount of growth. And again, let's look at this beautiful contrasting. I just love that like purple red. It's just so gorgeous, so pretty. 
and what an easy to grow plant super easy to cultivate to propagate super super easy and I'll show you guys some samples that I have it was raining last night so it's kind of windy and cool this morning but yeah she's absolutely gorgeous so I have some sunlight now so I wanted to film with different lighting hopefully you can see and appreciate the color even more Okay guys, so over here I have the beautiful Ripsalis Paradoxa growing all the way from the top and I've been growing her for a few years. She's absolutely gorgeous. Let me just show you here if I can pull some of it out. I mean, look at that. She's incredible. She's, I don't know, six feet, six and a half feet long and growing constantly it's really windy today all the new growth you can see here all the new growth right here so pretty i love ripsalis then here is the ripsalis bassifera Such a beautiful plant, really like delicate stems. But yeah, really, really beautiful. Growing all the way to the top, then coming down and branching out. Okay, so over here, we have the Ripsalis sulcata. And look at all of the new growth, how it just stems out. So pretty, I've been growing them for a few years. And yeah, I love this beauty over here is the Micrantha. Ripsalis Micrantha. Growing all new growth. This is new growth from this year. I mean, look at these long, beautiful tendrils. Just gorgeous. So guys, epiphytic plants, epiphytic cacti make great houseplants. They need well-draining soil and they have a low light requirement. So they also come in a large variety of bloom colors. So not just like the white ones that I have. I hope you are inspired to adding some to your collection. I definitely will be adding more to mine. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next episode.